Going into week number eight, a uh, game against the Shemokin Indians. Uh, team close by, but they seem on a down note this season. You'll be heavily favored going into this one, but what concerns you about this year's edition of the Shemokin Indians? Well, you know, anytime you're, you're uh, in a game situation like this where you're heavily favored, you know, you have to try to um, stress to your players that regardless of the opponent and what their record is, You've got to come out and work you know, hard at practice every day and try to improve as an individual, try to improve as a football team. So that's first and foremost when you have one of these situations. Secondly, um, they do some things that are a little bit different than what we've seen at any point this year. They're running a, a pistol eye formation, which is a little bit unusual. Normally people that run a pistol have a single back behind the quarterback. They're running an eye formation behind it. They're running some option on offense, quite a bit of option, in fact. And that's something we haven't really seen this year. And on defense, they run a 3-5 scheme. But it's, uh, it's a bit different than what we've seen in terms of the way they're, they're moving their linebackers around and the way they're lining them up. And, and there are times where, you know, they're putting eight or nine guys up in the box. So, you know, you have some things that, regardless of how well Shemokin's doing or the level of competition, there are some things there that, that kind of get your attention uh, scheme-wise, and that should help keep the players focus about their overall ability, um, just evaluating them on film. You know, they, they uh, played Milton and uh, Mifflinburg the last two weeks, which are the game films that we have on them, and there are times where they're certainly competitive with those teams. Uh, I guess maybe lack of depth, lack of size up front, and experience uh, probably leads to just not being consistent, not having the consistency they, they need to compete throughout the game with, with people. But they certainly showed at times that they were uh, more than able to compete and, and do some positive things against both of those teams. And, and Milton and, and Mifflinburg are both pretty good teams. So, you know, they have some potential. And, and um, again, you know, we just have to... to uh, Focus on, on the schemes that they run and trying to improve as a football team and, and not worry so much about what their record is coming in.